Good morning from lovely Hamilton, Ohio. Like downtown Hamilton, Ohio. River is. See that blue building? No, that's on the other side of the river. That's the west side over there. I'm on the east side. Uh, excuse me, I'm like, I've been up for a couple hours, but I've been sitting on the porch. <coughs> oh well, steps. Because it's second story. And again, I don't sleep. I, I did four hours, I think. And I got up, and I was talking to the neighbor. Hey, we've been doing sermons throughout the night. It's been fun. To each other, back and forth. Teaching each other stuff that we both forgot about the Bible, and about you know, God, and Jesus, Paul. My brother yesterday was talking about Saul. S-A-U-L, not S-A-W, like the movie. Because when he said it, I thought he was talking about the movies. Like, you know, the Saul movies where the guy kidnapped people and he put them into tortures of their own devices. And my, my one I can't watch is The Pit of Needles. It always fucks with me. Or The Crawling Through the Barbed Wire. Because I know what that feels like. I mean, I, I not necessarily actually crawling through the barbed wire, but that's what my body feels like. It's what I imagine it it would feel like all the time. Those kind of things. Oh, so we're going to cross the street, and you're about to see this beautiful house. I love this house. Every time I drive by this house, I always like, love this house. On North 2nd Street and Village. Where I'm at right now. But they have it all decked out. There's an angel here on the corner. I love this house. But I gotta watch these streets because people don't drive safe. Let me change my focus so y'all can see. Well, I'm gonna not show you the lady who's outside of this house. But I love the angel. The fairies. It's cute. I love that. Set. Every time I find my here, I see it. It's been there for a while. But I won't show you the lady that's that lives. She's got little banners, the little banner things, flowers. This is technically German village of Hamilton. But it's Hamilton. It, Hamilton has different sections. There's West Side, the Knob, North End. East side, uh, east end. Uh, Butler County Historical Society. That's where all these houses are. We're in the old town. Oh. I love meeting new people. I love talking to people. Slides. I'm trying to try and fuck. Three one nine. Man, these niggas follow me. Three one nine. One nine three. One three nine. Nineteen eighty three. So, I'm walking down here because last night me and my nephew were down here. There's a stage down here. <laughs> uh, I didn't get on the stage. There's a skateboarder on the stage. Now, because if I was narcissistic, now I, me and my nephew were we were already walking and and I've been dancing in the apartment. I had been having a good old time, like I have always have, with my nephew at the apartment. But we went for a walk, just to go for a walk. I don't use me. I don't pay attention. He doesn't see me. He's got a big old green house. I see him. But he doesn't see me. We're at Markham Park. Markham is my mother's maiden name. Oh. There's a big old heart in the middle of the fountain that the kids go and run through brought kids down here to do it. Ah, but I'm not allowed to talk to those kids anymore. 
Well, the one absolutely fucking hates my guts anyways. He's running around and he's telling everybody that I've abused him. So now he's got people telling, coming at me and saying I've abused him. Uh, but everybody seems to forget. I'm around kids all the time. If I was abusive to children all the time, every kid I was ever around I would be abusive to. I'm not. I would be abusive to every single person I ever met. And I'm not. I reflect people's behaviors. Like I am reflecting the light coming from the sun off my face. I reflect people's behavior. Like this metal is reflecting it on this mountain shaped with a big old heart in the middle of it. Or these leaves. I don't know if you guys can see them. You see them, they're shaped like leaves. This is made out of concrete and stone. Actually, this looks like granite, marble, brick. I mean, this is all made from the earth. A little bit of concrete over there. It's still made from the earth. True. Metal. You know, I, I'm finding... I needed a bag. So I could pick up trash. But I'm not seeing a whole lot of trash right here at Markham Park. Yeah, but down on the river, there was all kinds of trash. And that's right next to a damn water source, man. Right on the water source. And that's that. And but this whole Markham Park is all about talking about the river. Yeah, I'll show you. See this? All the way. There's the bridge. There's the bridge. Oh, listen to the bell toll. church bells. I love the church bells. Now I have problems with the church. I don't have a problem with religion. I have a problem with the church. And my problem with the church is that the church is ran by man and man has this thing called greed. Oh greed. We like to be greedy. Now I don't know if any of y'all realize I, I live off of probably like one of the least amounts of money of most people you ever know. I don't try to live off of the amount of money. Most of the money I owe out is owed out through courts for dumb shit that should have never, never had ever been a thing in the fucking first place. Because, A, I never asked anybody to take my damn kids. I wanted them. I fought for them. Shut your fucking mouths. You don't know nothing. I fought for my children. I fought for my children knowing I was going to lose them. Because I was outnumbered. It's amazing what happens when you're one person to a fucking... A whole army. What you going to do? You're one. What you going to do? The youngest one's dad had, oh, he had like 30 fucking people trampled through that court. Who did I have? I had the woman and man who were tra helping take away my other child. Yeah, what kind of logic? Well, we want her other son, but we're going to help her fight for her younger one. Because I didn't have that many other, I have two other people? Two. And it's not that I'm a bad person, because I'm a nice person to every fucking body until... Well, until you guys do something stupid, 
Oh, and I'm cool as long as I'm backing you up. Right? Oh, as long as Mama Jess is on your side, everything's fine. But as soon as it's against you, as soon as I'm, I'm not defending you anymore, as soon as, as soon as I make you own to your shit, well, fuck you, Jess. Get out of my house. Get out of my life. I want your help. I want your love. I want your acceptance. But fuck accepting you back. So, yeah, that's what you don't understand when you want to run your mouths about me. You haven't been a part of it. Even the people who have been a part of it for all of it haven't been a part of it for all of it. Y'all make judgments. I'm still dealing with people's judgments. You know who's loving me and accepting me for me? People who don't know me. They can actually hear me. They can hear and understand that my anger comes from people's behaviors. What well, man, if you didn't behave that way, then I wouldn't behave this way. I'm just sitting here trying to chill, and you guys are coming at me. I left the goddamn state! I stopped speaking to him! It had been three fucking weeks. And how many of you jumped me? Three sisters, a mother, a cousin, the next door neighbors. But yet he still hasn't opened his goddamn mouth. What's he doing? He packed up my shit and moved me out of my own home. Threw me out of children's lives that he wanted me to be a part of. He kept me around for five and a half years, but then you said that I oh that I'm leaving because I got everything out of you that I could. I left everything. It's more like you got everything out of me that you could. Ma'am! I've always shown you respect. You, your husband, your daughters, and your fucking son. Respect! What'd you show me? Don't beg. No, we can't take our own grandchildren. What'd you else you show me? Do you show me that much love? No, ma'am. Fuck you, Jess. I got everything out of you that I could. Yeah, I did. I got nothing. I got two bags full of fucking clothes. And then he packs up all my shit a month fucking later. And takes it to the one house that he knows I absolutely don't want to fucking go to. And puts it probably in ways that I'm going to have to sit for hours to go through. So it's going to wait a couple more weeks until I can actually have a spot and a way to get it all. To where I just load it straight out of her fucking house and into a truck and get it the fuck out of there. Because I'm not sitting at her house for hours to go through it. Because I'm not accepting that kind of abusive behavior from any of you ass moles any longer. Fuck that. You know what's sad? I'm not the only person. I'm not. It's not only me. I've, I've been around this country in the last three months with him and your sons, grandsons. I've been around you, been around your daughters, your husband, who cut me off when I was trying to tell him something, because he doesn't want to listen to me. That's why I'm doing these videos. You don't have an option. You hear the acoustics where I'm standing at? Can you hear my voice echo? But see, this man's walking right past me. He don't give a fuck. He don't care about what I have to say. He, but he can still hear me. Because the acoustics makes my voice just go because right there's the stage. I'm not on it. 
If I was that narcissistic, I would be up there preaching to your ass. See, but you want to talk about religion and you want to talk about God. Oh, and your sister. Let's bring her. Well, where's she at? Oh, let's bring her into this. Talking about, oh, but God saved me. Well, don't you get it? God also gave her cancer too. She had to find herself before she could be saved. Don't you understand why I'm up and moving? While I'm moving, I saved myself. I found my faith in myself and something higher than me. I didn't find it going to that place right over there. I didn't find it going into that. I found it traveling the goddamn country. Remember I kept telling you, spiritual awakening. I was seeing things clearly. I didn't find it going into a church. Last church, I believe I stepped foot in. I stepped foot into for Gigi's funeral. Mm. Pretty sure. Was that three and a half years ago now? Yeah. See, I'm still dealing with shit. But I dealt with shit last night with somebody for somebody and then a comment that got said to, from you to me fucking jumped jumped right off that Facebook page guess she got everything she could from me but see honey I'm a mirror I reflect what you want you got everything you could out of me and once I fucking had enough I had enough, and then you attacked me to try to make me be the bad guy. No, your son tried to control me for five and a half fucking years. I've got many a witnesses, because the comment God said to me when he used to sit outside my work, how's it feel to live with your stalker? Well, as soon as I had enough, oh, but he wants me to go back to the dying Jessica. The one sitting on that fucking couch you couldn't eat? Oh, no, but he wants me to keep the Zimbap. Oh well, yeah, he wants me to keep that one, the one that helps me be able to eat. But he doesn't want me to take my Ritalin that helps me keep, keep focused. So he doesn't want me to treat my mental health disorder. Because he doesn't like the way it's making me think. Because it's making me think that I'm worthy of more than sitting on that goddamn fucking couch taking care of him and his kids. While I only see mine every once in a while. So I'm sorry, ma'am, I'm getting up off my ass. And I'm going to make sure that I see more than just one of my children every once in a blue moon. I'm going to go fight to do what I have to to make sure that I get to see all my children all of the fucking time. And that I'm around. And that I'm not dying or dead to when my children actually have grandchildren. Because I want to see them grow. No, I'm not going to take care of them all the fucking time like you do and let your daughter lie and say that she's the one raising them because fuck that she is. They are always at your house. That's why you don't have energy to help take care of his kids. You're too busy taking care of hers. Yeah, go ahead and say I'm fucking bullshit and you want me to show up over at your house and take pictures of every fucking goddamn day that they're there. More often than not are and you don't know shit about my life so before you fucking open your goddamn mouth and you want to fucking run it maybe you should have listened maybe you would have been able to have information about me to be able to talk about me because you have no idea did you understand nobody needed to come to my rescue because everybody already knew I already had you dealt with I've been dealing with assholes my entire goddamn life. You can't break something that's been broken since birth. Your son said he was going to help build me up. No, you know what happened? I left. I, I went around friends. My friends kept telling me, Jessica, you're worth more. <laughs> my one friend said, we do top shelf here. But look, I'm a, I got it. 
Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Guys. Sorry. That is so pretty. I'm so glad I came out here to take a walk when I did. Even if I am ranting and raving at like, what, seven in the morning? Well, I've been waiting. I've been waiting three fucking hours to say this because this thought came to my head at like four o'clock this morning. No, I didn't even go all the way back into Facebook to go look for that thought. You guys like the thing said, yeah, but to you, it was just another Tuesday. Well, to me, that's a scar on my brain. That somebody who I respected for five and a half fucking years from the day I met you until the day you said that to me. I told you I tried to get them both help. I've reached out to multiple people trying to get them help. To get your son help for his control issues, his trust issues, because I didn't do that to him. I never cheated on him. He acted like I did every time I even looked at another male because of things they did. His wives. Because I never even made it to that stage. Remember, we were supposed to. He was actually with me longer than in an actual stable relationship than he was with either of them. He married both of them. Had kids with him. I raised his fucking kids. Made sure that they were fed. Hell, the two boys didn't even know how to use fucking forks and knives correctly when they came to live with us. They were 13. Ah, my bad. The oldest one was 11 getting ready to turn 12. Oh, and the younger one was 11 getting ready to turn 12. My bad, I was giving them credit. They were 11 getting ready to turn 12 and they didn't know how to use a fork and a knife correctly. My kids knew how to use a fork and a knife by the time they were like 7. Yeah, I mean, because before seven, they really don't need to be using a knife. So, yeah, I, I, we cut up their food for them. When they knew how to have fine motor skills, like, that they could do it, they did. Safety first. You don't give a kid a knife. No, shit, dude. They picked up one on accident and went to try to stab my other brother. Remember, I've got four real brothers. Yeah, well, the one was sitting there at dinner with us one night. The baby, well, one of the older two was a baby. Walked around the table, reached up and grabbed a knife and tried to stab my brother. He was a baby. Did he know what he was doing? No. Does it make him evil? No. No. I tell the funny stories because to me they're funny that my kid was trying to stab his uncle. Well, me and that particular uncle had issues when we were younger. So to me, yeah, it was funny. My kid tried to get payback for me. I found it funny. Did he? Probably not. I did. Did I find it funny when he used to beat up on me? No. Nope. Did he? Yep. You understand? No, you still don't. But you will. You'll get it. Eventually. So you notice there's no music today. There was no music last night. Well, I mean, there was, but just... Not in my ears. Because I'm back in hell. And in hell, music doesn't play. Not like that. Not all the time. This is my hell. Welcome to fucking Hamilton, Hamilton, literally. Hamilton. It's one of the nicknames for it. Hamilton, Ohio. Now, I mean, but if you look around, it's got beautiful stuff. I mean, I did. It's it's got beautiful. They make it look gorgeous, don't they? Shine it up. Look all pretty. Yeah, but see, what they don't show you is the hell that's underneath this place. I'm sorry, Hamilton, I'm going to tell the truth. And everybody say, well, it's everywhere. But see, it's not everywhere like it is in this place. Because I've been everywhere. I've been all over. And yeah, I know drugs are everywhere. I mean, I just like, seriously, this place is beautiful. This little park right here, there's statues. There's, like, metal artwork over there. I mean, this place is, is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And there's trash cans, man. Right? But see, they have to put a stage specifically 
for people to come and sing and play around it. Because you can't go walk the streets around here and and sing and dance like I do up there in that other city, up there in Bay City. You can't do that up there, or down here. Why? Because if you're acting a fool down here, now I can get loud. You notice how loud I got? Nobody fucking thought twice of it. You wanna know why? It's because that's what there is here. I just told you, we're in hell. What do you think happens in hell? Yelling. Anger. Mad. Everybody all the damn fucking time. Nobody thinks twice about yelling and screaming. They're not gonna call the cops on me for yelling at my phone. You might ask me to quiet down. Sit down, shut up. All about me, but I mean, change my perspective maybe. See if I change it. Any. You guys see it? I don't know if you guys see it or not. It's a statue and it's got two, like two adults and it's lifting up the kids and I mean, it's beautiful and the sun's gonna shine right through it and it's gonna shine out there and, and it should be making this place more beautiful and safe and lifting up our children. It's what it should mean. But we're not doing that here. I know a handful. I know a handful. And I mean, I know a bunch of people who want to lift up our kids. I know a bunch of people who want to do better. Yeah, but here's the thing. The fucking cards are stacked against them, man. From the get-go, from the jump, from right, from the get-go. They're born with the deck stacked against them. So-and-so is their mom. And you know so-and-so? Oh, that's a beautiful fountain. Do you know blah, 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 blah. No, I don't know them. You might not know them. So-and-so might not know them. But courts know them. There's a whole file on them. And it doesn't matter who you go in that court for, with. There's a whole file. And that file goes from one court to another court to another court. Uh, there's the one comedian he was talking about. He got in the bar fight. Ron White. Got in the bar fight in New York. Went to jail and he said, all of a sudden, all this, the telegraph machine back in Texas. <laughs> well, you got any nickname? Well... I go by a tater salad. My son is a tater top. I think I got that right. I might have gotten it wrong. But that joke. You know, because you're in trouble one time in your life and it follows you. You get a permanent record. Mm. Permanent. Because nobody can forgive you if they can't forget. If you remember everything, how can you ever forgive? Ah, oh, but see, that's the thing, though. I do remember everything. I remember everything. I remember every mean word that gets said to me. I remember every mean touch. I remember every action. I remember every good one, too. I do. I remember them all. And I can forgive in a heartbeat. I can forget. I don't forget, but I can forgive in a heartbeat. Depending on the level of disrespect. Ma'am, I forgive you. I understand. To the sisters, I forgive you. I understand. Cousin, you too. Neighbors, you. Even to the kids. To him, right now, right now, I can't forgive you. Because you didn't just hurt me once. You didn't just hurt me one or two times. You hurt me every day on repeat for 
weeks. Weeks. Still, it's been a month almost. Fourth, because this all happened on the 4th of July. I mean, there was shit that led up to it, but this all happened on the 4th of July. So we are on what, August 2nd. So in two days, it'll be 30 days. 31 days. 30 days, I don't know. It, it'll be a month. I'm still going. And I'm going with every plan I told you I was going with. Except for one has changed. Sorry. Your fear was right. Ah, he accepts me. Fully. And everything that you said you wanted from me, he's proven already. Proven it. I've stopped smoking cigarettes in a week. I told you I wanted to quit. We just passed the Hamiltonian Hotel. I've only been, I've been there for brunch and when my grandma Lois passed away, my aunt stayed there and then we went swimming there. We had to go over here to the Sears or whatever to get me a swimsuit because yeah, I didn't have one. I do want to get one of these one of these days. I think they're neat as fuck. I do. But I want to put, yeah, I want to do like a big sunroof, moonroof, okay, glass on the top so that I can lay in bed and like park it out in the desert and watch the sun and the stars and the sky. Especially if it's like raining or something. You can just watch the rain. Then again, I like to go out in the rain playing it now, so it's been fun. I used to hate the rain touching me. Now I love it. It's amazing how things change in one short month. Uh, but I will not accept anybody else's blame any longer. I did that for a long time. I said, give it to me. Go ahead, I'll be your scapegoat. I will absolutely be your scapegoat. I mean, I'm used to it already. Been your scapegoat forever. Been everybody's scapegoat. I was my brothers and my parents. Bosses. Friends. Lovers. My own. Now, try to use this town as a scapegoat. I hate this thing. But I don't, I mean, it's beautiful. Like I said, it's beautiful. Uh, but a lot of people around here are angry. And they got things to be angry about. There's a lot of things to be angry about. I may have spent a lot of time in that building too, we might as well. If my if this video cuts off, I will make a part two. I don't know how much memory is left on my phone. But I do know my battery's fully charged this time, so I mean that's fun. Courthouse is right up here. Now in winter time they do a Santa Claus thing. Saint Nick. And me and my nephew were having a discussion that depending on who's which countries, depends on what Santa Claus's first name is, 
because sometimes it is Christopher and sometimes it isn't. The hand stain. Oh. Somebody. Go. Find them all over the place. Feathers and butterflies. Band stand's a little unsteady. It's got a step. It's a little unsteady. I went to a doctor in that building right there, and I actually liked him. I wanted to go back to him. And I started seeing finishing the court battle. Me, I lost. What was the point? I did everything I was supposed to be doing. Doctor's appointments and therapies and medications. That's what they kept saying. It's just my mental health. It's just my mental health. I mean, I spanked him for him leaving the house at five years old unattended when he knew better. He was five. He knew better. He's don't tell me a five-year-old doesn't know not to leave a fucking house. Mm -hmm. He knows it now. He says it now. I knew better. Yeah, I know you knew better. No, for a fact, you knew better. But, you still did it. You didn't care. Well, no, because at five, he didn't know that the repercussions weren't going to be more than mommy sitting him on the couch, maybe getting a spanking for the first time in his life. The very first time in that child's life, he got a spanking. At five, for him leaving the house. Uh, but see, it wasn't a matter of what I did. It was a matter of what my ex did. My ex spanked him, too. Yeah, I should have owned it. Then, you let me own in front of the courthouse. There's the courthouse, right there. I mean, you can't really see it past the bandstand. I don't know, I can walk around, let me walk around. You can't see it past the trees. Sorry. You, you can't really see the, the Hamilton courthouse. But. Hey, asshole. So the whole world fucking knows? You whipped him, too. You should have been punished. I should have threw you under the bus. No! Jessica the martyr. So I got my punishment. I lost custody. Not because of what I did, because I spanked my son because he left the house at five and disappeared for like an hour. Because my now now, oh, I want to actually get this Made to love. Anyway. But my now ex-husband. I want to cigarette bags when I turn back on this guy. Spanked my son, too. The courts knew it. I knew it. I was just... Trying to be that oh so dutiful wife. Because I was only married at that point a month. Does that marriage license ever change the You know, so my next relationship, my next deep relationship I was in, I was more of a wife to him 
than I was ever to my actual husband. Or maybe because, I mean, seriously, you lose custody of your kids in a month of your marriage. What the fuck do you think is going to happen? I tried, my mind wandered. But, uh, yeah. Ah, there's some elephants in the room. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I gotta show you guys. Because to my marine, if you, if I can get this in here, my marine, baby boy. There's my marine. Oh. Sorry. I like the signs. But I have a picture that says, music is the medicine of the mind. Very much is. lots of time in there too. Where I got to pay my child support. When I can make my child support payments. Uh, it's also where you go to get birth certificates, death certificates, um, apply for food stamps, medical. Three fifteen medical. Over here across the street. Hey, my one brother might be working. And his wife. One of the two. Actually, that kind of looks like his wife right there. But I don't know. Can't see it really because it's a different. Yeah. Might stop at McDonald's and see if one of them's working just to stay. It's got me stopped from conversating with them now. We grew the fuck up. Why didn't you? When will you? When, why are you going to keep treating everybody else fucking better than you do your baby sister? How many times have I reached out? Now, the one wants to say, well, she only ever reaches out when she needs anything. The last messages that I've sent, but before the one where our stepmom wanted to talk to you, was happy birthday a year and a half ago. Because I didn't tell you this year, because you didn't tell me last year. Reflections, asshole. I tell you every fucking year. You can't even fucking say it back to me. Fuck you. Literally. Fuck you. You know who you are, Mr. Farman. You know exactly who the fuck you are. You're trying to run somebody over with a goddamn truck when they're 12? Why? Because you're angry? Well, so was I. I just lost her too. My world had just came crashing down around me too. And then I had to go back to mom and Jerry and have them fucking fighting on Christmas morning to where he brought me back home with him to save me that day. And you came in the door fucking running your mouth Christmas night 
and then the next day came in, picked me up, threw me into a floor model fucking TV and started attacking me, chased me out of that home that was supposed to be my sanctuary for the time. I disappeared for two days. And you still want to act like I'm the evil one? Fuck you, man. Seriously. Farm boy. Fuck you. And anybody who wants to keep protecting that asshole, when he's the one that I know if I ever came in his fucking house, if I ever asked him to stay there, I would be coming out in a goddamn body bag. That's why I don't ask him. Because I know he hates me that fucking much, and he has guns in his house. I would never ask him. I would rather go to the one that I know used to hit me, but now can actually have a conversation with me. I would ask him. I get along better with that one. So, but I'm gonna go in here and see if my family is here. And maybe get something to eat. Bye.